Welcome back to the round table. I'm Retro Nemo, and we finally know who the sixth Titan is. Yay! I'm totally not faking my excitement. That's right, guys. A little bit ago, Teen Titans Go, the widely popular, kind of controversial Cartoon Network hit, announced that they were introducing a sixth character and that they were keeping it a secret. It's going to be this huge reveal, this giant event, brand new character to the show. I mean, the idea of a sixth Titan is actually kind of big because the Teen Titans are a very established superhero group. The original series is extremely cherished by fans. It's a widely popular show. The entire show just has this whole lore to it And so to go in and change everything by adding a six member is pretty huge Now you could argue that adding a character means that a show was on its way out and that the ratings are down And they're desperate for any attempt to pull in new viewers and I'm not saying that's what they're doing here at all I would never assume that. We've seen it before on shows like Fairly Odd Parents, where they added like three new characters throughout the show just to spice things up and keep them more interesting. We've seen shows like Total Drama, which have completely changed their core cast at times just because they were out of ideas. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but it's never really a good sign for a show. So when Teen Titans announced this, I began to get a little bit worried that maybe they're running out of ideas. They recently did a 200th episode where the entire point was that they were running out of ideas and the creators were actually inserted in the show, so they're not really trying to hide it, but the whole point of this was I hope they did it in a good way. This wouldn't be bliss, which was unnecessary and not really well received by anybody. I was hoping Teen Titans Go would find a funny and interesting way to introduce a new character that flowed with the rest of the gang and actually made sense, and they kind of did that. Kind of is strongly used here. So if you don't know who the new sixth member of the Titans are, I'll tell you right now. Drum roll please, is Bumblebee. Bumblebee is basically like DC's Ant-Man. She could shrink. She's just a cool superhero overall. She's a very famous superhero. Too. She was very big in the comics. The show conveys her as having a lot of bee powers, like shooting bee stingers and honey. It's a cute take on the character. It works. It's cool that they added a female character that kind of balances out the group. And as for her fitting in with the dynamic of the characters, well, guys, I have no idea because this episode didn't do a good job of introducing her. The episode titled Forest Pirates is, I guess, like the first episode in this thing that they're doing. I don't know if it's like a limited run or like a small arc called Super Summer Hero Camp. It's basically the Titans at the Superhero Summer Camp. It could be interesting, but again, this ties right in but they're running out of ideas. It's not doing any favors. So I was assuming if they were adding a titan that the episode would be all about adding her and maybe it would be this big event. But no, it's not what the episode's about at all. <laughs> the episode's just about a canoe race and like the titans want to be pirates so they do it and it doesn't really work. Oh and then also Bumblebee's here and she's from Titans East and she wants to be part of the team. And they say no, we don't want her. But then uh oh she saves them and then they say whoa we want her. And that's the episode. That's, that's how they introduce her. It's really anticlimactic. I'm not gonna say this is bad. I didn't really have like high expectations, but I thought they'd do something like a little more focused on Bumblebee. Maybe make the episode about her joining, not just like some weird B-plot to a pirate story. I don't know. It just seems kind of anticlimactic. She's a funny character. She's super interesting and she fits in well with the team from what I've seen. But as for like how she's fitting in with the show overall, I guess we're just gonna have to wait on a couple episodes to see. I think it'll take at least a few more before we understand her dynamic, if she's working in the show, if she's not. Because like I said, this episode didn't have her a lot. I like her superpowers, I like her character, and I think that she's a personality that the show doesn't have yet. She's kind of bold and confident, and not like the other Titans, but I think that's good. I don't think she should just be like a carbon copy of another one. She should be a new addition to the team. If I'm being completely honest here, the new member of the Titans should have been the question mark in the promos. That would have been amazing. Teen Titans Go! has always broken the fourth wall and it's been primarily a comedy, so to do that would be just perfect for the show. It would have been self-aware and it would have worked. It would have played on the whole adding a new character trope and it would have flipped it on its head. They would have still been able to get the promotion of a new Six Titan, but they would have done it in a creative way that set them apart from other TV shows. I understand why they didn't do it. It would have been kind of weird, and I'm sure a lot of people probably would have been like angry or disappointed. I'm not even sure if she's gonna be with the Titans after this arc of this whole summer camp thing. I mean, I'm assuming they will because they hyped her up as it, but I'm almost wondering if this is like a failsafe. Like, oh, if fans hate her, then we could just write her out after this whole summer camp thing is over. Either way, I am praying for Teen Titans Go because it looks like it's on this way out. With over 200 episodes, it kind of deserves it. I pray this doesn't become like a fairly odd parent situation and just keep going on forever and like lose its soul. But the show makes so much money, I can see why they don't want to like, just end it. Overall, I'd put Bumblebee in like the middle of cash grab and like a good addition. We're just gonna have to wait to see more on this character. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna be hopeful. And if I can be hopeful, so can you. Unless you're in the comment section, in which case you can be as negative as you want. I love those negative comments. Keep them coming. Make fun of me. But guys, as always, I wanna know what you think. Do you hate this character? Are you excited for this? Uh, are you not? Let us know in those comments down below or tweet to me at Retro 
Ponyamu, or us at Roundtable Vid. If you want to consider helping out the Roundtable, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of the channel and get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the Roundtable. To stay in the loop with all things animation, guys, I'm Retro Nemo. This is a T Titans Go News video, and I will see you next time. Peace.